Welcome guys to some more Medieval Total War. This is a 2v2 multiplayer battle. Um, yeah, this was a really, really good battle, guys. I'm just just going to say that now. Um, I'm playing as England. Good old England, okay? So I'm representing my country, even though I'm living currently living in Australia. I'm teaming up with France. Uh, it doesn't make sense, I know, but I'm... Um, yeah, well, it, first of all, this is a 2v2. These guys have not teamed up. As you sort of tell, this guy over here, this is a, this is, you know, whatever his name is, uh, he's playing as Scotland, and he is deployed nowhere near his teammates. And, it, and um, at the time, this game was having lag, so, yeah, it was, it was kind of bad on his behalf. See, um, this guy's going to get a nice charge at my, um, archers, but my leader squad is right behind him. Uh, anyway, um, this was a, uh, quite a weird rules. Quite good actually. I like these rules. Um, you can have one squad of that was your general squad. You can have two light cav and four max archers, and then infantry. You can have what you want. It's pretty pretty good rules. It means that people don't spam like just one unit because archers are pretty effective in this. So I think it's a pretty good idea. Anyway, um, yeah, my ally is pike and shot. He's playing as France, I think I said that. He's uh, This guy over here is playing as Venice. And then playing as England, I said that already. Um, I've already set uh, my, my stakes up in deploying stage. But yeah, over here, as you can see, these are Scotland. He, it, at the time, they they didn't get here to ages because of the lag. But yeah. Anyway, he's come and charged up behind of these um, dismounted English knights. And I've sort of cornered him, as you can sort of tell, with, with my uh, mistakes. So his men are... Uh, not doing too well. The stakes won't hurt me, they're just for the horses. My men will just walk straight through them. But horses are larger objects and yeah. Anyway, I was um I told my partner saying this guy is so far away, we've easily got the advantage. Let's take out this guy as quick as we can. So yeah, I've got a bunch of these um armored swordsmen and I'm gonna ch chuck them straight into the fight. And instantly I already knew that these guys already have better like stats and stuff like that, so I was feeling pretty confident, and this guy was going to come from all from the side over here, as you can sort of see. He's got these um dismounted feudal knights, and they look pretty awesome. The blue and white there, and yeah, he's got some these um pikemen that look pretty cool as well. They're going to put their pikes down and then um destroy these horses. You also, he's also got a lot of these archers, and these are Scots guard, and they are pretty impressive archers. Look over here. This guy's got got a bunch of uh, veteran archers, and they look, is that veteran? Yeah, no, Venetian. Sorry, Venetian. Anyway, he's doing some. He's doing a pretty good job going around flanking this guy with his um dismounted noble knight. So he's got he's got some knights as well. On my side over here, I'm pretty much just destroying his men. This is pretty much the highlight of this of this um whole battle is my leader squad. This is a really impressive squad. They've got quite a lot of upgrades as well, so they're pretty deadly. Anyway, my swordsmen are just going to absolutely own his men. As you can see, they're having a lot of sword fights. It's pretty awesome. Over here, I'm bringing over some of these uh, swordsmen to sort of... Because I knew that these guys would come and attack soon, but... Try and uh, maybe stop them by using some of my men. Here, like, here's my... I've got two squads of um, armoured sergeants. Is that right? I can't remember. I don't know. I'm terrible with names of this game. Um, I've got some. I've got one squad of dis noble knights, dis uh, dismounted English noble no English knights. Damn, I'm getting the noble knights and other knights mixed up. Anyway, over here we've uh, I just killed his general or captured him, whatever you call it in this game. If this t this guy's aiming to defeat, he's, he's he's out. He's out of the fight. Wow, I'm, I'm just surprised how quick this has happened so fast. In the battle, this would have been like a half an hour because of the lag. It's it's unbelievable. I was, I was about to say this is going to be a long battle, but obviously it's going to be quite short. So yeah, but um, the time of day it's going to be quite hard to see a lot, and also th it, this game is just really real realistic. It's good and bad. It means it's really hard to see like who's who's who. Like over here, it's just um, Scotland and here's me. It, you you, pr you probably get France and Scotland mixed up, but we should be okay. Anyway, he went for more of the peasant archers. It's just as deadly, I would say, because once the arrow's in the air, it's going to do some damage. Over here is his, his leader squad. There he is, all fancy. 
So yeah, my stakes sort of did help me out here. They sort of killed a few horses. It's pretty awesome. Over here, he's just got all his archers mixed up. He's got a lot of these um, pikemen. These noble pikemen. And they're pretty, pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty. They are pretty deadly. Over here, he's got some highland, no highland nobles. And I'm assuming they just have really good attack because look at the size of that sword. Holy shit. But yeah. Anyway. These guys are broken. I think these are the guys that I teamed up on. Here's my spearmen and stuff like that. Just you know, just in line, waiting for orders from me. Over here, he's so pretty, pretty much teamwork really did eliminate this team over here. We did really well to eliminate this team, and that was nice. Over here, so this is all. This is all of um, his cav. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I woke up early this morning so I could do lots of commentaries with Ray Ray and Saxon King. Yeah, look, that looks pretty cool. Reminds me of a phalanx. Anyway, I'm gonna charge my pikes while his spears are still up. There you go. I doubt these guys would would do it, you know, to do any damage, but this is where my main force was going from the side. These are my um, armored swordsmen. Yep. And these are pretty much England's main unit, I would say, as well as their longbowmen. These guys are very impressive. Very impressive indeed. I just don't want. Oh, these guys must have come back from routing. But I'm going to charge him with, with my men. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> I think... Yeah, look. There's only like two, three left in the squad now after that charge. That was a pretty impressive charge. Over here, there's going to be some massive sword fight. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, The pikes are not working out, so they're going to bring out some nice swords. And Yeah, but I have the advantage because I have a shield. Haha. <laughs> Suck shit. But anyway, I'll stop swearing and let's get back to the battle. Um... This guy is coming from behind here. <laughs> from behind. I'm now taking some good charges on his archers because they're quite annoying. But now look at this. He's going to bring his leader squad in. And um, he's probably just as just as strong as my men. I don't really want to fight him yet because my men have been in battle for ages now. They've taken out a lot of men. But we'll see in the battle statistics at the end. Anyway, his archers are doing some good damage. Um, here's my, so all of our archers are teaming up. So mine are not on flaming arrows because I find them that they're that these arrows are faster plus I was aiming at uh, I was aiming at his archers and his archers didn't have any upgrades or anything like that they're just by themselves and they're only peasant archers so they don't so normal arrows would do the trick but I'm um, actually no at the moment I was aiming at his cav I should have put fire arrows but they were taking fire arrows take too long and his cav were, were on the move so I thought I would do some oh normal arrows I'm so sorry I'm so tired I should really go even though it's like what time is it? Four, four forty-three in the in the afternoon. It was terrible. Oh well, at least I can sleep well tonight. <laughs> Wait up, guys! Wait up. Anyway, it looks like uh, this happened so quick. I'm just sorry. In this battle, it took like an hour. I would say a decent hour to do the whole thing. And this has felt like two minutes. It's pretty awesome. I wish, I wish pe people had better internets. I did do a live commentary. I think I've already put that up. I'm not sure. I haven't put it up yet. While I'm, I, at the moment, while I'm recording, but by the time this is up, it's, it's probably already up. I'm not sure, but I did a live commentary on this game, and it was really fun actually. I didn't have any lag at all, and it was beautiful. But anyway, all my, these are what's left of my swordsmen. I had like four squads of these. They didn't have many upgrades. I think they just had like bronze attack or one experience. Oh, I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm gonna charge his men for the last time. Actually, not for the last time. Here, look. This is my men back. I was um trying to get hit these um stakes of mine because they. If you uh, watched my campaign versus campaign when I played th as um as Dale when I'm playing Third Age, the stakes destroyed all my cav and I didn't no didn't take notice at all. I was really bad. <laughs> but over here. This guy's bringing all of his mounted sergeants. These these are just light cav because they were the rules. Two light cav and a general squad. Anyway, my men are too armored to take damage, <laughs> so not, they're not going to do any damage. We've captured, the enemy's general. We've captured the enemy general. That's brilliant. Actually, I'm not sure if you can even hear this. One sec. Uh, sound options. Let's get the let's get the music going. Here we go. Let's get intense. Anyway, I, I'm not sure if my men are going to stay in this fight because these are pikemen after all. 
But oh wait, look, they're broken anyway. Look at that. And his archers are really, really um, effective, as, as you can see. They're, they're all grouped up, so they're like nice big group of arrows. Oh, nothing there. Over here's where the last fight is with my swordsman and his uh, noble pikemen. Oh, but these are pike militia this time. This, so these aren't the nobles; these are pike militia. Even they look exactly the same in my eyes. Where's the rest of the men at? <sighs> Uh, I should go to bed after this. Well, it's almost over. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's cruel. As if you would do that. They're getting owned from the front, and now they're getting set on fire from the behind. There you go. Clear victory. That was pretty awesome. So, guys, when, have you, when you do a 2v2 on any game, any game, I mean, well, Total War game, team up. That's why it's called a team game. You team up. So, so unfortunately, Gonakin, Gonakin, whatever you went, did not team up with Law of the Org. And well, it could have been the other way around. Like Law of the Org didn't team up with. They should have talked among themselves, but they didn't. But oh well, I had the, sh I had the smallest army as I as I always do. But I had upgrades, so nah. So my general squad, as I said at the beginning of the video, they were the highlight, and look, they killed 114 men. Harsh, but yes, they are pretty good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, 2v2 multiplayer, Medieval 2, I said that wrong. Medieval 2 online battle, and there was a 2v2, and I'm going to shut up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like the sound of that better. But yeah, remember guys, team up. Um, always when you're deploying, always talk about what's the plan, what we're going to do. Remember, teaming up with two teams is always good, you know. It means you, you only have to worry about one side because you won't get flanked through the middle. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Many more commentaries out every day this week. So yeah, thanks guys. See you later.